to the millennials okay millennials rules welcome to btv oh shit where the millennials do actually rule in fact we do and we are uh, gonna talk about the lovers and <laughs> what you guys got going now if you say who is this for we about to see i can set intentions beforehand but today i am not it's the collective of people that may resonate with my channel it's usually the moon, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a bunch of Aquarius moon here. Bunch of Pisces, bunch of Leos, Cancers, Geminis. Love y'all. Uh, love everybody. Whatever your partner is. And I'm um, just warming up. Cancer. Who? Taurus. I look good. Scorpio. Alright. Personal readings, natal charts, compatibility, um, classes, courses. Email us in the description box as I get the website back up. We're going to go ahead and start. I got the queen here with a 10. That's important. Love that. Bottom of the deck. Strength. Chiron is in Leo. Queen of Cups. Yikes. Okay. Well, mm, my queen of swords don't really take no poop. She don't. And then to come out with the ten of swords, this is a very masculine, almost king of swordsy kind of energy, bro. Not gonna lie. And I say bro because it came out of my mouth. I'm gonna leave that there. Mm, should I? Is it supposed to be like this here? I ain't into that. I feel like that tells me a story about the situation. I ain't gonna cheat y'all. Um, and I wanna leave it like this. So, that Queen of Cups gonna come out. I'm sorry. Um, oh, now I see. Ooh, if that's the focus, I get it. I totally get it. Ouch. Ooh. Uh-uh, don't do it. I'm not doing this to them. Two wands. Oh, shit, now. He coming back. I don't know if she done moved on. I got <laughs> 10 of pentacles. I don't know if she wants to move on. All right. I got six ones. That's what's going to get you the winning ticket. Because you don't want to be by yourself. And um, that explains that. That explains a lot. Okay. Let's get into it. I got somebody, whether it's you or them, focusing on the matters of the heart, mm -hmm. or beauty, indulging, enticing, being sweet, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you or them, there's this full attention on something, appreciation, recognition for your beauty, maybe inside and out, love that, the environment is that okay the focus beauty love possibly a cancer um uh, the environment selection my parade it's i'm on the horse right with the six of wands looking for something or being looked at not gonna lie however <laughs> the situation Maybe it's receiving. And look, with the outcome, it's receiving, but it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I ain't gonna hold you. We can, we can, I don't mind jumping because we gotta talk about it. You see how the. It's like, what the fuck? It's like the what the fuck of the Four of Cups. 
after the fact. Yeah, what is this? But the way he's looking in the near future is either how we left off with this um, depression or heavy feeling. And this is my page of pentacles. That talks about a look in the mirror. That talks about image. Whether it's body image for some of you looking at the pictures. <laughs> um, it talks about potential. But I don't know. Now we, we do have two ladies here, but that does talk about characteristics. It doesn't always talk about people. Okay, I feel like I need this today. Okay. If y'all don't know, this thing been with me since Pisces TV, honey. And I used to be like, put all your problems in here, right? I was such a sweetheart. Y'all want me low. I'm not going to hold you. Don't put your problems in my baby. Um, but you can bring them in to be transmuted through Source or Holy Spirit. Uh, I got both of them on my team. So, yeah. Even though there's two, some of you are dealing with two. Um, some of you have nervousness, anxieties, isolation. Some of y'all are introverts. And I feel like it's the introvert that may be feeling somewhat unappreciated and deceived a little bit. Not gonna lie. Somebody wants you to maybe be different. Not gonna lie. Maybe you want to be different. And I do feel like the strength of the matter is you're healthy, but there's an aspect of you that's tired. There's an aspect of you that has been betrayed and hit rock bottom in an area of your life. But it's not your true nature, I don't think. Okay? Um, I also feel the anxieties because we got double Libra. Um, and if you're not a Cancer or... The girl's girl, they could be focusing on that. Like, they pay their attention to beauty, attraction, somebody going to kiss their feet and shit. I don't know if you into that because there's a, an aspect of another energy that is dealing with something. Or they think that um, if you're not. And you could just tell them to fuck themselves. Now, in the recent past, I have Capricorn. I have the devil. So that talks about a lot. Addictions, obsessions. Could talk about toxic relationships. Um, no. Or a lot of money. Okay? There could be a lot of money involved in the situation on one end. And some in-between. And some focusing on receiving that. That could be giving this Five of Cups energy to a relationship situation because we got some other things that have strength in it family tradition wealth like we dealing with some serious things or or our strength our energy could be into some serious things but the near future or potential outcome could be a missed opportunity not gonna hold you um a person could be thinking something was a missed opportunity because of some tension, some anxieties, or some friction due to some behavior. They don't make it true, boo. Don't know. But we'll take some clarifiers, okay? I just love that the focus is the bright side. I don't see anything negative. I was going to say around my Queen of Cups. I said a bunch of negative, potential negative things around my Queen of Cups. But I'm not a negative person. I'm trying to go with my vibe. And my vibe is, I'm focused on this Queen of Cups. I like this pink top, child. And look at this. Look what we focused on. But look what could be the outcome. So any fellas in the audience, she her rose could smell like voodoo. Not going to hold you. Not going to lie to you. And if you're this guy, I know you don't want to hear this. Don't block me. But you know what happened to him like he was just awkward and 
didn't really get the one he wanted i don't think um he lost one right didn't he lose one ouch okay maybe because we saw it but we were indecisive there's some indecision um we internal we thinking about it but there's some indecision however our focus is on this and i just wanted to point out the ice cream though because here's the focus and here's the possibility of the outcome and it's like you're gonna hold on to it you're gonna hold on too long to something and um be indecisive indecisive about something too long and by the time it come to you it might be it might be because when you when you met it when you saw it when you had it it gave this right it gave it gave shebang bang wiggy right um but by the time you get to it i you know or maybe this this how it come in and this how you want it to be if this is about image for some of you i'm not gonna hold you you're you're maybe isolated a little distant somebody's a little distant and imagery could have something to do with it where this is the situation but this is the focus and this is maturity i don't see any pages of cups anywhere yet i'm gonna take some clarifiers but she's down to earth young hippie groovy kind of chick right but this is my queen of swords don't get it fucked up we are looking at the imagery and i purposefully chose this deck so i could look at the imagery instead of like traditional tarot so i'm going to implement them both for those of you that it's like what you talking about mind your business this is the situation but this is the focus and i think that means something the colors are the same where we have a blurry image here but we have better focus more items maybe some things maybe some aesthetics okay and my queen of swords like shit <laughs> so so there's that and i apologize it's not the ten of swords my queen came in with the nine of swords so that doubles down on libra and it gives that wishy-washy in between energy where the indecisiveness okay of this two of wands which also has this imagery of 11, which is like justice, which is also Libra. Um, there's that. So we have the nine of swords here, okay? Which is the challenge. The challenges of the nine of swords could be sleepless nights, nightmares, okay? Sometimes somebody can be a nightmare. And um, our fear is being alone, but our hope, okay? is to go within and kind of figure things out where there is anxiety and friction we gotta it's like doubling that the downside of, of virgo i ain't gonna hold you is also that schizophrenic don't block me okay but it's that trust issue it's that in between it's that back and forth it's that dark and light it's that this mm, 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 mm. okay now a health improvement could benefit this situation if health the devil the five of cups where it could be obsessive or toxic uh bond okay trauma bonding and this feeling of a missed opportunity sadness regret there may be some regrets somebody has some regrets somebody that's indecisive has some regrets uh, someone who's indecisive and slow has some regrets. Someone who's not ready yet has some regrets. And they sat there, right, seeing right before them what could be, which is this, okay, the chick with the ice cream, the soda pop, baby at the pool. I saw that, and I was sitting there pondering. Now, unless we get three wands somewhere in the clarifiers, um this someone may regret the indecisiveness because it's like i see you i see the benefits of you but in the recent past maybe i didn't see that or maybe it was me going through something um in the hopes and fears we have the hermit i feel like the fear of being alone the fear of isolation because she's sitting here but in the hopes 
every time I saw this little girl get up into water, baby, she saw some things. And maybe your your greatest fear is what you saw. And I don't know who this is for. Um, I'm not going to negate it was for me. But when I did meditation on it, death or endings could be a trigger for some people and hard for you to overcome. I don't know if that's the life lesson part of it, okay? Um, or that's what you feel you need protection from. That's weird. But take that, okay, for whoever it's for. The near future being this look with the outcome being this. It's like somebody may have gave the cup back. <laughs> Cersei said no, but I was just like, look at it. If this is our cup, this double scoop cone, uh, and then the, the the container broke. You feel me? It could be that. It could be where we keep our emotions and our water in a container. Someone may fear that ain't no more fucking container. <laughs> it's not funny, but I've I've already said the disclaimer. I giggle. I'm inappropriate. I have dark humor. Don't pay me no fucking attention. Pay attention to what you're paying attention to, okay? So there's that, all right? I want to use these to take the clarifier. I know I usually use another deck, and I will if I have to. But why is the Queen of Swords in the situation, but the focus, the Queen of Cups? I really want to know that. Like, I really want to know. So I have six pentacles, five pentacles, seven cups. Mm. Now he's delighted, okay? And he has six straws. I don't know why the straws give me wands, but the environment and him, they're going together. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the background. He got glasses on so he can see. So I guess it's not the blurry part, it's the clear part. All right, so the Queen of Swords, there was somebody that was like, yes. But then they ran or had a reason to run because he getting away on his bike with this five of pentacles a feeling of being left out um, or some had some finances to do with the situation I shared for all of you a belief some different beliefs like the inside versus looking in on the outside whatever the case and then you have the seven of cups so mmm now, you got a masculine hand with the outcome or the advice. Um, and then when I ask why is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups both here, she has all these motherfucking scoops. She got, uh, you know, but it's like he ain't received it like that. So whatever you was giving out, it wasn't received that way. Right? Want to consider that? Look at this. This is the outcome or the advice and this is the why. It's like you presented it. Maybe it was too much. That's what I said about this water. Because I know no container in this water right here in the hopes and fears. But it looked good. <laughs> Look at my thumb. That's crazy. It looked, it looked great. It was a lot. And it looked great. A lot of different options. A lot of different flavors. All neat. But when I got it, it's like somebody catfishing probably too. I'm not going to hold you. I don't know. Now I'm going to get blocked. Okay. Fine. We do have three ones at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, let me look. I'm gonna show y'all. It just was sticking out, so I wanna be nosy real quick. Okay. We have what is that? The four of pentacles. Okay. And the three of swords. Yikes. So that four of pentacles hurt us. And then we have the three wands where the decision to move forward may have um something to do with the person in the five of pentacle energy on the bike running off okay it was like hopscotch but you need legs for hopscotch baby you can't use no bike so you you need some patience uh, there's that specifically for my queen though let's go one by one for my queen of swords that's in her hippie you know casual outfit um we have we have the five of pentacles came back up where he was like super excited but 
something came in and did something. Okay, three of wands still right here though. Why do we have the nine of swords for the challenge? We have the six of swords. And it says here, what does it say? There, we monsters. I don't know what the fuck that's about. So let's see if there's something cute in the guidebook. For that nine of swords, you have the six of swords. And it's like I'm moving away to calmer waters. Maybe this is not the best idea. I thought this was a new beginning. Or um, somebody did something not so smart. Maybe it is the anxious, anxiety-having, flip-floppy motherfucker that can't make a decision as the fool. I don't like talking down. Whether it's the cross-watcher or you. Uh, that could be it. But we ain't gonna just throw them under the bus. Okay? Um... What is this? The Six of Swords here? You've been dealt a bad hand. There's no question about it, but you've got the brains to think your way out of this predicament. Uh, do you want to cast the fireball or maybe use the spell of protection? Okay, you can holler at me about that. My email is in the description box. Uh, do you want to cast that or maybe it's time to rally your party to back you up? You may have options at the ready so where someone was flip-flopping and decisive you might need to get back out there because somebody's ready and you need to get out you need to get out and do some shit and try something uh that's what that says okay now with our focus being our scoop queen here she knows how to leverage her gifts. And with the Six of Wands, you have some, buddy. She represents the importance of domestic work, caring for the family, using your experiences to impart wisdom, and making choices in the best interest. Because we saw the fool right here. So the challenging aspect made, when I said it wasn't the best choice, that's the challenge. But you have the discernment to not do that as we look at this Eight of Cups. Okay? with uh, the two of swords okay letting go of the heartbreak but also possibly refusing to see right refusing to see this shit here so getting from the nine to the ten you want to start over and it's like no you're supposed to begin to the ten to this person or this situation possibly now the recent past that was a major situation everything else is kind of like outside of the hopes and fears and the recent past everything else is like day to day simple but the recent past and the hopes and fears and or the strength they're big deals okay want to point that out so the ends justified the means no matter what happened somebody said fuck it right if they have turned up in your reading it's a warning to exercise self-awareness self-awareness came up for whomever in my past reading uh, kept showing us the king of pentacles and just a message to you if you're here self-awareness and knowing what you what your value is is a necessity to your financial success so it's like before you get this abundance your life lessons or soul journey may have something to do with self-awareness and knowing your worth the queen of swords knows her motherfucking worth but if we focused on the queen of cups energy negatively she could be revengeful and hurt and positively she could have rose colored glasses thinking the motherfucker is the one and it's like girl he dusty it's just a small town i don't know if he the one sis or sir um, the devil card also states that a question have you allowed your desire to control or to overwhelm those around you so was you the toxic motherfucker that overwhelmed the person who had one foot out and one foot in in the first place on this new beginning it's time to put things in check and confront your inner demons if that's you before you do something you regret and look at this then I just say, motherfucker, go do something they regret. So in the recent past, you have, or they have, or there could be, for some of you, 
a, a situation that could be regretted and the outcome shows regret. Ouch. So I'll, I'll get to y'all because I'm feeling like this is definitely about some regret. Like you're in one energy, but you're thinking about things another way and maybe regret some. Mm -hmm. Now what's crowning you or them, your person, um, we have the two of wands, which means someone's coming to a point of making a decision. But with the nine of swords on the table, maybe it's a little bit of a delay, especially with this page of pentacles, okay? Uh, could have been a, a delay. Maybe we don't like delays. Somebody might not like delays, and that's where that devil energy came up at. Because it's like, delay for what? Hello? You know, like, I don't know. Um, but... Here is what's crowning, or the possibility. Here's possibility possible, possible, possible. Who the fuck want that many possibles? Like, what's for sure, okay? Maybe you feel like that, maybe you don't. But with this deck, the two of wands, two strands, beacons you like the lights of the palace arcade. You know, and the Stranger Things, the little lights at the game room. It's inviting you to come play some new games. So let me find out a toxic motherfucker want to play some more games, huh? How that sound? That is insane. Let me grab my crystal because y'all toxic. Um, <laughs> set a new high score and make your mark, okay? You want to go harder than you went the last time. Oh, man. Honor the eagerness you feel, but follow yourself or allow yourself, I'm sorry, to have a beginner's mindset. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Now he drumming while I'm doing y'all reading. Uh, it's important to fully experience your journey, allowing for proper planning and learning along the way. The page is definitely the student. All right, so you finna learn something along the way, <laughs> or some of it finna fuck around to find out. Um, now, if there is a challenging aspect to my page, which I felt a little bit in his facial expression. Mm-mm. Sir. And he got on headphones and can't even hear me. Children or something else. Let me get to this before he be the page. I got to toss something. I can't take this. Excuse me. Hello? Just child, he gotta stop. I can't deal with this three hour whole thing. Hold on. Ugh. Hey! Stop clicking while I'm talking to these folks. Stop clicking. Okay, back to you guys. If there's a negative aspect to this regretful looking uh, individual, uh, it says here you can see where it is you're headed, but you can't quite find your way. Instead of trying to navigate the dark unknown, set your intentions. Where do you want to go? What are you hoping to accomplish? The more you know, the easier it will be to get there. Now, let me skip over, right? Because it says something about setting the intentions and you don't know where to go. And most people know that the advice would be to go within some of us don't know that and some of us be inside so much we don't get out that you ain't with the social norms of the motherfuckers around you that you're dealing with and they're gonna be the bad guy every time honey if you living like that i ain't gonna hold you because i know what that feel like it's a jungle out there so i want to skip here and it says that are you doing everything possible to stay busy you know this page is also talking about staying busy it says double and triple booking yourself saying yes to every request and ah uh, what is it obliterating the concept of a long time if so consider this a nudge what you're doing to distract yourself from what are you doing to distract yourself from honey there may be an underlying issue you're not facing and until you do you're at risk for a complete and total burnout now you at risk. You ain't totally burnt out yet, beloved. And I know you ain't because you're not at the 10 of swords. You're just at the nine. And, you know, whoever this is is a part of the collective because 
we did talk about burnout not eight pentacles ten swords oh my god the perfectionist you distracting yourself trying to stay busy now the favorable aspect of L, right? Because I'm L. Y'all can't be L. Everybody pick their character, who they was, and the Stranger Things. You are not L. Sorry. I'm L today. But you can be L. Okay. I'll share. Um, there is something to be said for inner exploration. No one knows that better than Eleven. When she needs to traverse the vast terrain of her mind, she turns to a, a quiet place free of distractions. And baby... This is needing some of that because that's this is it's friction. It's a little friction in this card. So you could have reached, and I did say reached, mind your business, uh, a pivotal point in your life where you're craving a new direction. This two of wands say we thinking about it because that other direction far away. Like that ship, I see it, but... I don't know, for some reason there's a but in the two of wands that's not there in the three of wands. And I did see it in the deck, but it's not on the table. So I don't know, we're going to use a fresh set of eyes over here and see. But uh, reevaluating your priorities and examining your relationships. And it's time to close off the outside world and be at peace with your thoughts. Because the challenging aspect of them thoughts, honey, is they be racing. And the way you seeing it is in the Queen of Cups, but the situation at hand say the Queen of Swords. So if the situation called for the Queen of Swords, where well, I'm supposed to be matter of fact in the MF, but my focus is on what I did wrong, how could I do better, or I want my revenge, you owe me an apology, or in my feelings. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right? Okay. So let's take a look. See, we got the Emperor here. With the seven of wands so we got aries we got the eclipse season we got all that mm -hmm. yes yeah, see that's confirmation that's what it is so eclipse season is deep dark old school shit or somebody who feel like that at times with my queen of swords like is this the right thing though is this a situation it could just be like i said an air sign or somebody who has that capacity receiving being closed off distant and regretting being nice to a motherfucker. I don't know. Let's see one more time. Because we're getting somewhere. We got the world card. Something started and ended and we fucking knew it. Ooh. This is mental. And trying to gain, regain momentum. Mm -hmm. There could have been a breakup. Something came in between some people. We waiting to see what's going on. And this is like shockingly, because we talked about the Eight of Cups at the beginning of the reading, remember? Or I don't know if this was that reading. Another reading, they had the Eight of Cups, but then the Two of Cups swooped in with a message. That message included the King of Pentacles, which is why I advised that self mastery, self awareness, and understanding your true value was a prerequisite to some material gain. So if this is one of those toxic karmic soul ties where y'all learning through each other and you done misunderstood the twin flame, uh, there's that. You know, we can talk about it. But there's some instability possibly or a glass ceiling when it comes to this happily ever after. If there's financial embarrassment or juggling or drowning, right, there's that. And then, like I said, there's something about a stop and start thing. It started and stopped in the same motherfucking breath. Who knows? It could be a soulmate or an unrequited person. And this is exactly who he was dealing with in the movie. I think it was somebody who didn't want him like that. Not necessarily true, understood. But here's an event, a sad one. Um, and or some gossiping, some talking and discussion. Um, about an engagement or an arrangement of some sort or maybe there needs to be an arrangement made could have been what do they call it it's complicated type situation doesn't have to be but there was an event um, where something got between the others there could have also been a situation where for a moment it was bliss because the three of cups they're focusing on the cups it's a celebration but we're not at that now. We're at the two cups where 
it's a love lost somewhere. So the nine of this, because I'm gonna get off the queen of dice, she's something else. Ah, see, the nine of swords, the friction and anxiety is possibly gonna hinder this ten of pentacles. Your health is your wealth. Uh, the focus being our queen of cups, because I had so much to say about her, right? Uh-huh. This is the message for my king of pentacles in that previous reading where the peace treaty, the what you need comes in um, after the self-work, the mastery, the work. So improving yourself, your image, how you are, how you come off. If you want to live your soft person era, you can't deal with no toxic motherfucker. So you can't be praying, hoping, and coming on YouTube, watching tarot videos about a scum bump. If you trying to be the next big thing or, you know, be happy. We got some messages. Somebody said something that was tacky. I know I have been pissed off and 30,000 messages that came in. And look at here what we got. There could also be how we come across. Messages, travel. Mostly messages. That's what I got. It's some messages. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to ghost the fuck out of you because of all that shit you said. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to ghost the fuck out of you. Okay, do you regret what you said to them? Is there some regret? Okay, and the text messages. Maybe there's an apology coming in the forward movement though. Oh, that's nice. So look, while I'm all in y'all business, maybe you're considering apologizing and moving forward. Is that the best thing or is that the toxic shit? That's the toxic shit. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna tell you what not to do. But in the near future, okay. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I'm sorry. I know I could be like, Rawr! but now I'm gonna be charming. I don't know. And that's so passive aggressive. Oh my God. And then you're gonna be just like this and probably get mad again. Ooh. That's why. Don't send that message. Just wait. Don't send that message and apologize. Yeah, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but that's why the outcome is the five cups. Because somebody thinking about maybe they did something wrong, or maybe they didn't. Maybe they're a people pleaser, or maybe they're the more supportive person. And you like, well, maybe I can fix this if I say something different. It ain't even on you to fix. Child. So in the near future, let's see. We got this page. I saw the emperor, but it didn't come out. Damn it. I hate when that happens. Ooh, oh, yeah, the person will regret, you're going to regret it even more if you do whatever you're thinking about, I'm not going to hold you, um, this person ain't even nice, they on some bullshit, I'm not going to hold you, they definitely are on some bullshit, you're going to get pissed off, um, and here you go back at square one when you could be at level 10, all right, so in your strengths, the moon phase, which I think the moon is currently in. Damn, I looked at it today for a different reason. What is the moon in? Um, my moon child got gifts and abilities. That's why we be off sometimes. What is the moon in? Can y'all see my notes myself? Yes, I'm a narcissist. God damn it. I dedicated my books to myself. Um, I think it was Chiron that was... Uh, discussed today in the fourth house that was governed by the moon. I apologize, but y'all can look into whatever the current moon phase is. I don't know, but it came in as your strength. Okay, you got six of cups and you got the moon. If that's not, if a moon child um, is your strength, that was a star season. We we different. Not gonna hold you. Uh, it also talks about it's unknown. Like, you don't know your own strength because you got this Ten of Pentacles right here as your strength, and you don't even know it. It's in your roots. Like, since you was a kid, it's a part of your past. And chivalry ain't dead. If this motherfucker ain't shivering you, opening up doors, buying gifts, saying good morning, fuck him. I ain't gonna hold you. The environment with the Six of Wands, I got Judgment popping up with the King of Swords. <laughs> and then the King of Swords came out. Make sure you close the door, okay? Okay, so I got a pair now. See, you matching that energy. Baby, match that energy. You thinking I can fix this if I'm passive-aggressive? Absolutely fucking not. Um, 
match that energy. This toxic bastard may like to be cussed out. I'm not going to hold you. Keep talking about your worth. Look at that. Okay? I like the star. The star is... I didn't even ask for it. I'm going to leave it here. But I have Aquarius here. A child for some of you. I don't know if children are involved. I super doubt it. But it's a wish of some sort. Like what you want could happen. And you don't know it. Um, and people would be like, the devil is there. Right? I don't know if that's the case. But you focus on your worth. You stand your ground if you want to. Don't be passive aggressive and toxic because if you if there was a discrepancy or some sort of behavior that's regretted, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but apologizing all the time for shit you know you gonna do or something they did deserve make you look weak and then they thank you weak. So what you gonna do that for? If they deserve that shit, fuck them. If you went too far, okay, you ain't started. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. So with the five of cups came out pretty quick. See? That decision being made, that forward movement being made, and that that son of cups, but this is a charming Kanata motherfucker. Sometimes in shadow, I'm not saying in shadow, but anybody who go from the five of cups and then overnight they the knight of cups coming in with a decision because it's an opportunity. I don't know if we're dealing with an opportunist or not, or if this is another cup from somewhere else. I don't, yes, it is. <laughs> it could be. It could be another cut from someone else, not gonna lie. And this is a more grounded, solid, stable thing that's less sexual, less toxic, um, that may help in the healing process. And those two of swords are in the reverse. So I like that. It's unexpected. You might not know them. And here's your 10 cups. So child it's worth an extended but i think i extended enough um that's what i got and we'll keep filling out the energies okay i'm not going to title this to a sign but there was a lot of air involved and a strong emphasis on cancer or water um however we did have some other energies like virgo scorpio capricorn uh it was a lot of stuff up in here this was decent because it wasn't no losses it was it kind of feel like i'm talking to a friend where i'm not just like normal reading like coddling a person who's been hurt or talking crazy to somebody who didn't hurt somebody i'm just talking to somebody who a little bit toxic <laughs> where somebody does probably deserve to get cussed out and because you're such a sweetheart you regret it and i'm telling you not to at the same time if you want to be a different person for a different person then I feel like you got to experience that different person. You can't try to be a different person with a motherfucker who purposefully gaslights you or has caused all of this trauma. It's like, I'm, I want to be different, but, yep, I went off on this MF, right? Did they deserve it? Yeah, fuck it. Now, you saying you don't want to go off on the next new person or you trying to heal and be better for fucking what? This earth is a ghetto. I don't know. Do your thing, though. I do hope that it helps. Don't forget to hit the like button, share it, and all the groups build us back up. I've been off for like two years, maybe three, um, but we back, and we're going to get into it.